Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about creation of declare index and its uses in Pega. Let's get started. As we know that the values of a case is holded by properties and in properties we have single value property and a list kind of properties. So when a case is created, we would be giving more inputs to a case and all those inputs are saved in a blob. Suppose we got a requirement like in a case I am giving a value called a state and a state is a single value property and I want to create separate column for that particular property and I want to save that values every time. So if I go here and if I open state property I can go for actions and click on optimize for reporting and if I go for next and if I show the column all the values of state will be saved in a separate column what if I have a property like a page list so this page list property if I go see here optimize for reporting option is not there so what if we got a requirement like for reports or some other purpose we want to save all the instances of a page list so if I open a case, this particular case, I am inputting some values. Now if I go to clipboard, under PV work page, this is the address list property. So this particular page list property is having these three records. Now if I add an another item, and open clipboard, this particular page list is having totally two entries and this particular page list property is saved in blob now how i can create separate columns for this address line 1 2 postal code and save all the entries that are related to this address list page list property in all the cases for that purpose pega has given an option called as declare index so for declare index first you have to create an index class our thumb rule is whatever page list property we take for creating a declare index we should create a class under index hyphen only so if you go to your project and see under index dash there might be many number of classes now for this demonstration i have created this particular index class so our index class should be of a concrete class why because we would be saving instances under this class and you should select does not belong to a class group and you should be defining all these three keys don't forget to give all these three keys for your indexed class and you will update history and you save this class this is our first step in creating declare index next is creation of declare index rule so go to records sysadmin declare index under this you would be creating a declare index class it is a good practice to give our declare index class with index underscore that particular page list property i have given it wrong here and next is this is our page list property as we are speaking about page list properties you have to make sure that you have to give this parenthesis if you did not give this parenthesis it will throw an error while you are saving a declare index rule and this is our source class again i am going to our clipboard you can see this particular properties belongs to this particular class so that's why you have to provide source class this is our index class that we have created in first step now this particular source class is already having these three properties this particular address list property might have more properties but now I want to save only these three properties under this index class. So I have selected these three. But to map into our index class, we don't have those properties, right? So we should be creating all the properties that we want in our index class. If you see here, all these three properties I have created. Make sure that source property and target property type should be of same so just refer your source class property 
type and then only you create the target next i don't want to save the instances when user has clicked like this and submitted this case so i want to avoid saving of this blank values into my index class then i would be unchecking this option suppose you got a requirement like you have to save you, even if user has provided the input or not then you have to select this option index even if source property is blank and now our particular case is in open stage now before submission or before uh, resolving the case you want to invoke this particular index you can give some when rule so all the declarative rules would be running in background so you no need to specifically call this particular declare index whenever our pega engine is trying to save this page list property it would check whether there are any declarative rules and it will execute the declare index rule this is our second step the third step is now you have created properties here but you did not create columns for this particular properties so instead of writing some rdb queries or something just open this particular property in our index class go for action click on optimize for reporting and click next and you click next and click finish so that uh, your particular uh, columns will be created i already created uh, columns for this so in the same way all the index class properties you have to optimize for reporting then in the same database table these columns will be created next go to this index class click on definition go for test connection and see whether there are any errors so here there are no problems found with our configuration so to see instances of uh, this index class you no need to go and uh, run the queries as we have created concrete class instances would be already saved here click here see there are two instances saved here here three records and third one is empty if i click submit only two values should be saved case has been submitted see only two records has been saved under this r7003 work object open the instance go for actions view xml crawl down this is our first instance of this particular page list this is the second instance in this way you can expose a page list or a page group or a value list or value group properties in pega and you can try creating declare index rules in your application and post your comments or doubts thank you happy learning please watch share and subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notification for latest videos